Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this content, go ahead and subscribe to get updates about new videos. And if you've been here before, thanks for coming back. All right, so this video is something that I feel is pretty important. It's something that Unfortunately, Microsoft don't let you know when there are new updates, but there are monthly updates for Dynamics 365 Marketing. So let's have a look and see how we actually do the updates. It's really easy. All right, so if we go into the settings area of the Dynamics 365 Marketing app, and we go into settings, and then what we've got here is at the top we've got versions. We also have it from the sitemap on the left-hand side, so we can go into versions. And what you'll see is if you're up to date, it will tell you you're up to date and there's nothing to do. But every month, usually sort of middle to end of the month, then there is going to be an update that's coming, or at least that's the cycle they're going through at the moment. So what we can do is we can simply click on manage and update. You're obviously going to have to be a system administrator to be able to do this. And what happens is when we click on it, it then takes us to a different tab, a new page in our browser, and it's basically going through and it's checking to see, okay, well, what version are you on currently? And then what it's telling us is we've got all of these different packages that are going to be updated. So these are basically solutions in your environment. So it's telling us that what we've got currently, the installed version, and then what the new version is. And you can see the difference between the numbering. And depending on what's actually in that update, you're going to see um, one or more packages listed. So here we can see we've got the overall Dynamics 365 marketing, we have one for standard data, and then we also have one for real time as well. What we're also going to see is it's just checking to confirm this is the environment that we're connecting to. And then also, unless you have a very good reason, you should be connecting and using your own web server and not a Power Apps portal. Um, so, the last thing to do is literally just click update packages and that's it. Now this will sit on the screen for however long it takes to do the update. Don't sit and watch it, it'll take hours potentially. So you're basically able to go ahead and it says you can close the browser so even if you close it the setup will continue and what you're going to end up with is it'll just go through and run the update and when it's finished then back in the versions section here it will show that you're actually up to date. So that is it. If you haven't done this in a while, you could potentially have a lot of updates to do. Um, well, one update, but it could potentially take a long time if there's a lot of stuff in there. But I would go ahead and make sure that you get up to date because there's a lot of amazing stuff that's come out um, just in the last couple of months. And I'm going to be covering some of those in some upcoming videos. So make sure you get this updated. I would suggest doing it in the evening, so waiting until all of the users are out and then go ahead and doing the update then because, again, it is updating solutions in the environment, um, so you're not necessarily knowing what it's going to update. It could cause um, slow or degradation of use of the system for other users, so do it in the evening after hours. All right, so that's it, quick and simple. If you've got any questions or comments, please go ahead and leave them below. Thanks. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.